today I'm going to talk to you about yam daisies or murnong, I believe is the technical name for them. They are an edible Australian plant that produces tubers that taste similar to sweet potato so you can roast them and uh, use them in uh, lots of different dishes. After we actually got these, um, one of the contestants on MasterChef used them in a ravioli so she used them as the filling because they are like sweet potatoes so I thought that was very clever. So these were given away by my son's kinder as tube stock and when I went home and did some research I was really amazed that they were an edible Australian native plant. So I just wanted to do a little video because um, I've learned a few things about these and I don't want anybody to make the same mistakes that I did. So they look very similar to a dandelion flower and you do need to be careful that you don't have these in your garden and start um, weeding them when they actually can produce you some yummy food. So the flowers actually, unlike a dandelion, when they come up, they point downwards. So they look a bit sad at the start and then they will reach up like this one here. So they'll stretch themselves out and this one's ready tomorrow. It'll probably be like this one here with the flower. But the thing is that I didn't realize is that after they've flowered, which they usually are only open for a day or two, they then go back into this position of being down. And I thought, well, that's it. Flowers spent, I'll cut that off. No, no, no. After it's done this, it will come back up again and open up with its seed pods. So I've only had two flowers that I was able to grab their seeds from. I left them for a couple of days and then I took them off and they will look like this. So I suppose my son would call that like an umbrella type shape. So you just put them into the ground this way. So with the long bit down into the ground. Some of them I put just a little bit of soil on the top some of them I didn't even put any soil on the top but you just put them in like that and in a week or two's time they will turn into new little plants um, the one trick that I did learn off somebody else was when you do this water them in well place some cling wrap over the top and secure it I just secured it with a um, elastic band and then that keeps all the moisture and the humidity nice for them to be able to uh, grow so don't do what I did and go uh oh the flowers done cut it off no 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 this I got two flowers so far so out of one flower I got eight new plants so this is eight plants that I will be planting into um, our garden beds very soon so there's eight plants so one flower produced another eight plants and I've had two so hopefully I should get 16 plants and then now I've got some more flowers to be able to do the same process with so hope you enjoy the video have a great day thanks for watching bye